Say thank you Jesus for your mercy, your grace, your favor upon my life. I am here in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus name. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Amen. Once again, we are gathered in the presence of the Lord. Amen. It is by his grace, his mercy, and his favor that we are here. Amen. Shall we open our Bibles this afternoon? From the book of John, chapter 6, and the verses number 60 to 65. The Bible reads, and I quote, On hearing it, many of his disciples said, What kind of teaching is this? Who can accept this? On hearing it, many of his disciples said, What kind of teaching is this? Who can accept it? Verse 61. Aware of the disciples grumbling about Jesus, Jesus said unto them, does this offend you? Verse 62. Then what if you see the Son of Man ascend into heaven from where hence he came from? Verse 63. The Spirit is the life giver. The flesh counts for nothing. The words that I have spoken unto you, they are full of spirit and life. Yet, there are some of you who oppose this word. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them would not believe him. He goes on to tell us who would also betray him. Verse 65. And he went on to say, This is why I told you that no one can come unto me or unto my father unless my father enables him. Amen. Saints of God, let me bring this to you. Life in itself is spiritual. Life in itself is a mystery. Life in itself is a journey in the spirit. Many other times, as believers, as Christians, we take life for granted. Not knowing that life is spiritual. Anything that exists and ever existed, it existed because it was through the power of the Holy Spirit that it existed. I know this is a bit confusing. But let me bring this to you. The birth of Jesus Christ was as a result of the Spirit. The birth of Jesus Christ was as a result of the Spirit. God 
had to announce through his messenger, angel Gabriel, concerning the birth of Jesus Christ. You might ask, where are we heading to? I want to lay a foundation so that you understand why I'm saying life is more spiritual than we think. Hence, the teaching of today, the subject of today, God's power is the necessity to life. Without God's power, which is the Holy Spirit, life in itself is meaningless. From the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, it is as though God wants us to learn that life in itself is spiritual. From Genesis to Revelation, you will see that God was trying to bring to the attention of man that you are not as natural as you seem. You are spiritual. And it will take you to be spiritual in order for you to exist in this world. From the beginning, God gave power unto man so that he may execute, dominate, and rule the earth. But along the way, we lingered away from this power. Life, believers, is more spiritual than we see, than we perceive it. When Jesus Christ introduced this subject to his disciples, those of you that are avid readers of the Bible, you understand that this, this I've just read from in the midst of this whole chapter, but if you go up there, you will learn that he was talking about them eating his flesh and his drinking his blood. That's where they came up with this question to say, what kind of teaching is this? Who can understand it? He was trying to remind them that for you as a man to be complete, I have to be in you. You cannot execute the work of God without the Holy Spirit. You cannot separate yourself from the Holy Spirit and expect to call yourself a seasoned Christian. Because life is spiritual. When he said these things unto the disciples, each one of them had to question the kind of teaching that came out of the mouth of the master. The man they followed for three years. When he brought out this mystery, they questioned him to say, what kind of teaching is this? Then he said, what if the son of man were to descend, ascend and go back to where he came from? In the end, if you read this scripture, it says, then he said, if you read 65, let us go there. If you read 65, it says, that's why from the very beginning, I told you, unless the father enables you to come to who? To me, you cannot be part of me. The bone of contention is, how can you become part of Christ? How can you become a fully fledged Christian? It is when the Spirit of God has found dwelling in you. It is when the Spirit of God is, has found its place within you and it is able to execute the mission of God in you. Our Father has labored 
for more than three, I think it's close to three months now, teaching us to be Christians moving in power. Not by name, not by membership. We cannot be Christians who are just there for mere membership. Because the world that we are living in, the enemy has taken hold of it. It will require you to be spiritual in order to overcome, in order to overcome what the enemy has set in motion in the womb of time against you. To be without the Holy Spirit is to be blind to the matters of the kingdom. To be insufficient of the Holy Spirit, it causes you to lack the interpretation of the word of God. Why? Let us go to John 14, 16. It says it is him who is the what? The revealer of the truth. You cannot be a Christian without the Holy Spirit finding residence in you. You cannot carry the fullness of God without the Holy Spirit. Even Jesus Christ, the Bible says, when Jesus Christ was fully fledged, there came a time when he went into River Jordan. Why didn't he just start his ministry without going into River Jordan? He needed the Holy Spirit to enable him. It seems as though Jesus Christ, all this while, he was helpless. Until the Holy Spirit confirmed him that this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. If I may ask a question to you, how many of us are being driven by the Holy Spirit. How many of us are being drawn as believers by the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the one who will help you, who will help me to be a true believer. If Christ, the Son of God, could wait for the Holy Spirit to descend upon him, to commission him and to confirm him. What of you and me? Our father is reminding us believers. That we should be believers. That are grounded in the word. That are filled with the Holy Spirit. In order to overcome. The challenges that are before us. Why? Because the challenges that we are going through. Are not merely physical. Some of them are spiritual. That will demand you to perceive them in the spirit. Believe you me. You and I are incomplete spiritually. If the Holy Spirit is not resident in us. A mere disciple. A fisherman received boldness because of the Holy Spirit. A man who could not stand before people. A shy man in the name of Peter. When the Holy Spirit descended, he is the one who stood and said, these people are not drunk. That boldness cannot come on you, cannot come on me. If the Holy Spirit is not resident in us. Some of the issues that we go through. Is demanding us to be spiritual. Is demanding that you and I. We are filled with the spirit. For us to understand the matters of the spirit. It will demand you and me to be spiritual. Otherwise the enemy will have access over our lives. As he pleases. The Bible here is saying it is the spirit who is the life giver. This body counts for nothing. Meaning any spirit can find habitat in our bodies if there is no God of the Holy Spirit in us. Anything can have access on our body. Talk less of the devil. As you are seated there, 
as I am standing here, if there is no the Holy Spirit in me, I could be seated with a, a, a Satanist and yet not know it. A man who's standing before you could be a sinner, but because we are lacking the Holy Spirit, we cannot discern it. Why? Because the discerner of spirits is not in us. Until such a time, the Spirit of God takes residence in us. Then we'll be people that are grounded enough to carry the fullness of God in us. Amen? Until such a time, we carry the Holy Spirit in us, then we'll be the true representation. We can carry rather the full representation of the Holy Spirit. We can carry the full representation of Jesus Christ. It was difficult for the believers to understand because the Spirit of God was not in them. They understood the whole thing that Jesus Christ was saying in a literal sense. They said eating is flesh, drinking is blood, and yet he was speaking figuratively. That's why the Bible says it is foolishness. The things of God are foolishness unto them who have got no spirit in them. Amen. The matters of the kingdom of God cannot be interpreted by this mere mind. Life in itself cannot have meaning without the Holy Spirit. Majority of us we've fallen into depression because the Holy Spirit is not in us. Some of us, we are in the school of the Holy Spirit and yet we have not descended to them on a chushi. To them on a mafia. And yet, it, the, 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 the path that we are in is the right path and the enemy will be able to advise you to say, you are in the wrong direction. Rather, turn this way and move this way. Ingra komudifi. Believe you me, Avantuabaya Kunganga. They don't just go there. There is an inner conviction within them to say, Let me try. Bashinganga. And at the end of the day, the Spirit of God in such a person is not there. Because God will direct you to a place where you can receive deliverance, where you can receive full, the full counsel of God. Because we lack the counsel of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit was in us, certain things we would have not fallen victims. Are you with me, children of God? We would not be victims if the Spirit of God is in us. We are running pillar and post for answers and yet the answers are within our reach. Because the spirit of God is not in us. Any Jim and Jack who's carrying a collar on his neck and a pair of suit and shoes will prophesy over you and you will say, Amen. It is Amen. As long as does not mean you are a child of God. I repeat, does not mean you are a child of God. Having a bunch of scriptures to back your confession, it is nothing. 
to have scriptures that are lacking the interpretation of the Holy Spirit, they are catastrophic to your life. Hence, the father of faith, T.B. Joshua was saying, if you are there calling the name Jesus, 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 the devil is a discerner. He will be able to understand, to say, who is this? Who is calling the name Jesus? When he sees that there is no light in you, the spirit of God is not in you, he will descend on you. That's why, if we have a Ichebo cha kwalesa tifuile cha ba mudi ifwe mufuile mwa bana mupashuwa mushilo uakutuiluila it's time to fikida po mwa bana ba kwalesa there is so much deception in the house of God our Father is trying to 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 draw us into true worship. Because deception is everywhere. It will take a mind that is grounded in the word of God. It will take a mind who has been transformed by the word of God through the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that gives you an enabling to be able to understand the word of God. The word of God is not a book. It is not a novel. It is life. John says, it is life and what? Spirit. He says, the things that I tell you today, the words that are coming out of my mouth are not just mere words. They are life unto who? Unto you. And the one who activates the word to, 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 to have power, to heal, to have, it is the Holy Spirit. Without the word in you, without the Holy Spirit rather to help you interpret the word and apply it on your life, it will be very difficult for you to understand that the word of God can heal. That's why people are, have difficulties to believe that the word of God can deliver. Even the sense of God. The disciples who saw Jesus Christ perform miracles, feed, heal the sick, the lame were walking. And yet when he said these things, 60 in number decided to walk away. But those who had the revelation of God, when he said, how about you, the twelve? Peter, because he was filled with the spirit of God, he was filled with power. He stood in front of his master. He said, where can we go? For you have what? The words of life. You are the source of life. I came to speak to such a one. The word of God is power. The word of God is power. And it is the Holy Spirit that enforces the word of God to be active. Without the Holy Spirit, the word of God is just on paper. Are you with me, believers? As it is here, it cannot heal you. Ichebo chakwalesa, as it is here, it cannot deliver you. What causes the word of God to be active is the Holy Spirit in you. It gives you the deeper interpretation. For those of us who are afflicted, who are going through trials, the word of God, let us go to John 14, 16. Someone who is there can read for us. He has promised you and me that he is sending who? The advocate. Who is the advocate? In a literal sense, we can say he's what? A lawyer. Who is a lawyer? 
a lawyer is a person who interprets the law. In this case, the Holy Spirit is the interpreter of the word of God. On your own, this word, you can read it. You can even find the scripture which says, you are healed. But you won't be healed. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is not there to interpret for you. It is not in you to help you have a deeper understanding. Tell your neighbor, I need deeper understanding of the word of God. I need deeper revelations of the word of God. Without the deeper revelation of the word of God through the power which is the Holy Spirit, the word of God is inactive. It took the Son of Man to go to River Jordan, be baptized, and the Spirit that hovered in Genesis over the waters, it came in form of the similitude of the dove to confirm who he was. Who is confirming you today? In those altars that are fighting you out there, who is speaking for you? Those altars from your forefathers, the shrines that have held you captive, the chains that have bound around you, there is no progress around you. Who is there to confirm and speak to those altars to say this is the son of God. The chosen of the Lord. I came to speak to such a one that there is a key out there. The key is the Holy Spirit. The discerner of the truth. We cannot know the truth without the Holy Spirit. We cannot understand the word of God without the power of God in the person of the Holy Spirit. Until the person of the Holy Spirit is upon us, we will have the boldness to stand and face the altars of our forefathers and say, you are nothing. For it is written that authority and power has been granted unto me to stamp on you. And the Holy Spirit will confirm it. Why? Because you have a relationship with him. It is the Holy Spirit. When Paul, Silas, Peter, they were locked up in minor Asia, in the dungeons, the Spirit of God came unto Paul. And he said, Paul, as I was with you, where? In Jerusalem. I'll be with you before the Sanhedrin. Do not fear. Who is speaking for you? Who is standing for you when the accuser come in the night to get hold of your life? The robber of your destiny is there. Who is there to stand and tell you, son of God, daughter of Zion, I am here to confirm that I will be with you in this challenge. I came to speak to such a one that there is a helper the promised one of God he's there for you he's there for me and he has promised that he will be with me unto the very end ah Jesus Jesus he's there for you all you need to do today is to allow the Holy Spirit to take resident where? In your heart. You will not only be transformed. The, listen. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. In the life of man. Is in these few verses. That I will give you in your own time. Because of time. I don't want to waste much time for you. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. Is in twofold. In the life of a believer. The Holy Spirit, when it is upon you, my brother, it is there to transform you. It is there 
to do what? To transform you. To change you. Peter, a forgotten man. A mere fisherman. He puzzled the lawyers. He puzzled the Pharisees. He puzzled the people that moved with the penta. They, they, they moved with the law on their forehead. They said, is this Peter? A mere fisherman who has challenged our intellect. We who have carried the law of Moses on our foreheads. Saints of God, the Holy Spirit will cause you to open doors. It will cause you to have favor. It will cause those that were locked over your life to open up. He will cause the high and mighty to come down and honor you. Let us read in 1 Corinthians 4, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. We'll start from 10, we jump, we go to 14 because of time. Somebody to read for me. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to show you the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. Is there someone who has reached there? Read for me. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, then you jump to 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, the Bible reads, But it was to us that God made known his... It was to who? It was to us that God made known what? His secret by means of... His, his mysteries. Go on. Uh, 10B. Yes. Even the... Sorry. The spirit teaches everything. Even the hidden deep... Even the hidden deep things. Of God's purposes. Of God's purposes. On who? On you. It is him who will teach you to say, my son, in this situation, do this, do that. You cannot be a believer, a Christian, without the power of God. I salute my father for the word, for grounding me in the word, for making me understand that I need the power of God. And it is resident in the Holy Spirit. I need the interpreter of the truth. And is where? In the word. The Holy Spirit, it is there to transform you. To give you a deeper understanding of the spiritual matters. Until we come to this understanding will forever have even babyish challenges around us. We will run pillar to post when the solution is within the word of God. But it was in the wrong hands of cancel because we've neglected We found ourselves in the counsel of the wicked who has distorted our understanding of the word of God. Amen. Number two. The word of God. Or rather the Holy Spirit. Which is the power. I want you to understand this. The Holy Spirit is the power. I can prove it to you. The Holy Spirit is what? The power of God. This Holy Spirit. Who is the power of God. Is also. The one who brings revelation. He's the one who opens the mind of man to understand the deep what mysteries, as the Bible has said in Second, uh, First Corinthians chapter two, verse ten and fourteen. In your own time, you can read the whole thing. Peter was uh, arguing with these men to make them understand. 
Read for me. Isaiah 30 verse 21. I want you to know that if the Spirit of God is in you, He's your guide. Are you with me, church? If the Spirit of God is where? In you, He will guide you. Isaiah 30, verse 21. Isaiah 30, verse 21. I read. If you, if you wander off the road to the if right. If you wander off the road. To the right. To the right. Or the left. Or the left. You will hear his voice. Just hold on there. If you do what? Wander. To where? Someone who is wandering from pillar to post. What is happening to him? Alela king esh. Umunto tukasanga ayoku. But listen to what the Bible is saying. Go on, my sister. On the left, you will hear his voice behind you. Sir. You will hear whose voice? The voice of your master, the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, you will hear his voice to do what? What will the voice do? Here is the road. Follow it. He will guide you. There is no place. Like the word of God. If the word of God. Coupled with the Holy Spirit. There is no limit to what. You can achieve. There is no limit. Look, you know, the example that I have, apart from the word of God, is my father. I've been with my father close now to over 10 years. And I've seen a man who has labored in the vineyard rise from dust to where he is today. And I'm seeing him even going even further. Why? His dependence on the word and the Holy Spirit. Today, we are seeing the results. How many of us are ready to emulate? How many of us are ready to follow the way our father is moving? Kulibe, for me, I'm here. Because I've seen where my father is coming from and where he is today. It is because of the counsel of the Holy Spirit. A man who is seasoned in the rain, in dry places, in troubled waters, he depends on the word of God as though everything depends on him. And the fact that he depends on the word, the Holy Spirit directs him. Today we are seeing him going higher and higher. How I long to walk in the path of this man. How I desire that one day I may walk in the path of this great servant of God. He depends on the word of God. He understands the ministration of the spirit. That with the ministration of the spirit in him, there is no challenge ahead of him. There is no mountain that is greater. I will encourage you to know this as a fact that the Holy Spirit empowers you. If you have been empowered, the Holy Spirit can also empower you. To overcome them. Believers. Mere confession. And expounding of the word of God. 
It is nothing. I repeat. Mere confession. And expounding of the word of God. Without power. When I say power, I mean the Holy Spirit. It is nothing. It is mere psychology. You need the word. I need the word. To be a fully fledged man of God. To be a person of God. This is my conclusion. To be a man of God. You need the word of God. To overcome the challenges before you. You need the word of God. To speak in power. You need the word of God. Couple it with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the life giver. Amen. Jesus Christ. He stood up in the synagogue. And he said today. According to Isaiah 61. Today. I've been what? Anointed. By who? The Holy Spirit. I've been commissioned. I have now the power. To, to let those who are bound. To be what? My sister if you are there. We read through this scripture. It's very important that we read this scripture. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61 verse. Yes, sir, from verse 1. Verse 1. Mm -hmm. The sovereign Lord mm -hmm. has filled me with his spirit. He is filled. Does he say he's filled me with your word? Church, I'm talking to you. Scripture, I that I'm with He said he filled him with what? His spirit. To do what? He has chosen me and sent me to bring good news to the poor. My version is saying he has anointed me. In other words, he has qualified me. To do what? To bring good news to the poor. To bring good news to the poor. To heal the broken heart. To heal the broken hearted. You cannot heal a broken heart. If the word of God is not in you. If the power of God is not in you. You need the power of God. In order to give full counsel to someone. I prophesy, I prophesy. It is not enough. A lot of us we've received I prophesy. I'm seeing you be a great woman. There was no power. The Holy Spirit was not there. Jesus said, I am here to confirm that the Holy Spirit has done what? <laughs> we are reading Isaiah. Has done what? The Holy Spirit has he done has what? The Holy Spirit has filled me with His Spirit. Has filled me. He has filled me with the Holy Spirit. And on top of that, I'm what now? Qualified, anointed. Had to do what? He has chosen me to send. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor. Bring good news to the poor, and to do what? To heal the broken hearted. To heal the broken hearted. And to announce release to captives. To announce the release to who the captive. There are those as our Father here, who is our guide in the spirit, for Him to release us. The way we see here manifestations, they don't come because he's knocking people on their heads. No. They come because he has been equipped with the power, which is the Holy Spirit. You are bound spiritually with chains. It will take someone who is anointed, filled with the Holy Spirit, to pray and release you. And Jesus Christ said. It is the Holy Spirit. That qualified me. In order for me. To walk in the dungeon. A 
and release you from the dungeon of the enemy who has tied your destiny, who has tied your career, who has tied your womb, who has tied what you deserve to have. That is an empowerment. So the Holy Spirit empowers you. Moses, in the book of Exodus 7, verse 16, all the way down, you understand that Moses did not go to give stories to Pharaoh. He went with power. He said, God, I'm not going there. If you will not go with me, He said, all right, Pharaoh, you have not obeyed the word. Now let power speak. I've spoken. Now it is power to do what? To speak. He said, Aaron, can you drop the rod where? On the ground. And what followed next? We saw the power of God. I came to tell you. Tell your neighbor, we need power. We need to be a people that are filled with power. And this power is the Holy Spirit. I need to be a Christian who is filled with power. And this power is the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. Are you there?
to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus name A clap for Jesus Amen tell your neighbor say neighbor the end of your problem has come the end of your situation has come Yes. As it is written that what gives life it is the spirit. And what is destroying your life it is evil spirit. Which one do you want to carry? Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say I stand here. Je me tiens ici. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say you demon. Toi démon. You are not giving life. Tu ne donnes pas la vie. To my business. À mon commerce. To my family. À ma famille. To my husband. À mon mari. To my wife. À ma femme. Say you are not giving life. Tu ne donnes pas la vie. Say now I know. Maintenant je sais. That what gives life. Ce qui donne la vie. It is the Holy Spirit. C'est l'esprit de Dieu. Say you demon. Toi démon. Say I am tired of you. Je... Say I am here. Je suis ici. To approach you. Pour te déraciner. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say you demon. Toi démon. Picture that demon. Picture that demon face to face. Say you demon. Toi démon. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say I command you. Je te commande. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say come on. Say. 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 Where are you? Où es-tu? Say where are you? Où es-tu? Are you in my family? Are you in my business? Dans mon commerce. Are you in my marriage? Dans mon mariage. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say your end has come. Ta fin est venue. Say not tomorrow. Pas demain. Today. Mais aujourd'hui. Your end has come. Ta fin est venue. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say come on. So. Say. 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 So. Command that demon, command that demon, command that demon. Command that demon. That demon is causing problems. That demon is causing failure. That demon is disturbing your life. That demon is hurting your money. That demon is disturbing your marriage. That demon is opposing you. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Command that demon. Commander de sortir. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Command that demon. Commander de sortir. Don't give them chance. Yes. Say I command you. Je te commande. Say where are you? Où es-tu? Are you in my blood? Tu es dans mon sang. Are you in my stomach? Dans mon ventre. Are you in my heart? Dans mon cœur. Are you in my mind? Dans mon passé. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say today. Aujourd'hui. No hiding place. Are you in my wife? Tu es dans ma femme. Are you in my children? Dans mes enfants. Are you in my business? Dans mes affaires. Say I command you. Je te commande. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say come on. So. Say. 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 So, 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 and the sickness they have planted that demon command them command them command them command them don't give them chance yes we oui. 
Command them. 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 Say Say In my family. Dans ma famille. Here I am. Je suis ici. In the name of the Lord. Dans le nom de Jésus. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. In my blood. Dans mon sang. In my blood. Holy God. Saint 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 Your system. 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 Your stomach. Your stomach. Ton ventre. Your stomach. Ton ventre. Your stomach. Ton ventre. Holy God. Saint Holy God. Saint Holy God. Saint Holy God. Prayer, 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 prayer. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, wherever they are located, in your body, causing you sickness, command them out. 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 Command In the name of the Lord, wherever you are, I command you. Je te commande. Come on, so, 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Children of God. Les enfants de Dieu. What gives life? It is the spirit. Ce qui donne la vie, c'est l'esprit. And what is destroying your business, your marriage, your destiny? It is evil spirit. Ce qui détruit ta vie, c'est l'esprit mauvais. We need to uproot that demon. Nous devons déraciner cet esprit. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say you demon. Toi démon. Anywhere. Partout tu es. Where you are hiding. Partout tu es caché. And now I know. Maintenant je sais. That you are not giving life. Tu ne donnes pas la vie. To my life. À ma vie. To my destiny. À mon destin. To my future. À mon futur. To my marriage. À mon mariage. Say you are not giving life. Tu ne donnes pas la vie. Say today. Aujourd'hui. Enough is enough. Assez, c'est assez. Ta fin est venue. Toi, démon. I am tired of you. Je suis fatigué de toi. Name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say wherever you are. Partout tu es. Holy God. Saint Esprit. Holy God. Saint Esprit. Holy God. Saint Esprit. Holy God. Saint Esprit. Your stomach. Dans ton ventre. Your stomach. Dans ton ventre. Your waist. Dans ton. Your mouth. Dans ton mariage. Your blood. Dans ton sang. Holy God. Holy God. All of everybody, your system, Dans ton system, your organs, your face, your image, Dans your lieu. blood, Dans ton your mind, all of everybody, all of everybody, all of everybody, your money, ton your argent, business, your affaires. money, your husband, your children, Des enfants. all of everybody, all of everybody, your paper, your paper, your paper, all of us. All of us. Des documents. Déclare la fire. Déclare la fire. Let them catch fire. Déclarer, déclarer les feux. Déclarer les feux. Yes. Oui. Let them catch fire. Don't give them chance. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Yes. Oui. Let them catch fire. Les feux dévorants. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Yes. Oui. 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 Say where are you? Où es-tu? Say you failure. You échec. You poverty. Toi pauvreté. You stagnation. Toi limitation. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say wherever you are. Partout tu es. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Oh, Dieu. Saint Esprit. Oh, Dieu. 
Sente spirit! Sente spirit! Your marriage! Sente spirit! Your business! Your money! Your money! Your blood! Your name! Your skin! Your waist! Your eyes! Oh, le babale! Partout ton corps! Oh, le babale! Ton corps! Oh, le babale! Oh, le babale! Ton corps tout entier! Ton corps tout entier! Ton corps tout entier! Let them catch fire. Déclarer le feu. Don't despair their testimony. Let them catch fire. Le feu. Don't despair them. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. In the way where they hide. Partout tu es caché. In the blood. Let them catch fire. Le feu devra agir. Let them catch fire. Le feu devra agir. Say Lord Jesus. Señor Jesus. I am in your presence. Je suis dans ta présence. Now I know. Maintenant je sais. That the power. Que la puissance. Is here. La puissance est ici. Now I know. Maintenant je sais. That the Holy Spirit. Le Saint Esprit. Has empowered me to command you. Pour te commander. The forces of darkness in my family. Dans ma famille. Hear the voice of God. Wherever you are, I command you. Je te commande. Come here. So. 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 Continue à prier, continue à prier. Let them come out, wherever they are located, in your body, dans ton corps, in your system, dans ton système, in your blood, dans ton sang. I command them, commander. Let them be located. Qu'ils soient localisés. Command them, 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 Anywhere where they are, distance is not a barrier. La distance n'est pas une barrière. Wherever they are, partout ils sont. On their shrine, dans leur shrine, where they are throwing their power. Let them catch fire. Que le feu devra agir. Let them catch fire. Le feu devra agir. Let them catch fire. Say you have a shrine. You have a shrine. Do I don't? In my family. Dans ma famille. You have a shrine. Do I don't? In my mother's house. You have a shrine. Do I don't? From my father's side. I command you. Je te commande. Wherever you are, catch fire. Le catch fire. Agis le feu. Catch fire. Catch fire. Agis le feu. Catch fire. Agis le feu. Catch fire. Le feu de Borah. Catch fire. Pray, 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 pray. Continue à prier. Today, today, whatever they have planted, tout ce qu'on a mis dans ton cœur, whatever they have spoken, tout ce qu'on a parlé de toi, they come out. Ils vont sortir. It is time. They come out. Ils doivent sortir. It is time. They come out. Say where are you? Where are you? Say where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you in my blood? 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 I stand here in the name of the Lord. Dans le nom de Jésus. I command you. Je te commande. Wherever you are, in my blood. Dans mon sang. Be flushed out. Be flushed out. Be flushed out. Come out. Pray, 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 pray. Continue à prier. Continue à prier. Command them, command them, command them. Continue à prier. Command them in the name of Jesus. Commandez de sortir dans le nom de Jésus. Authority and power is in the name of Jesus. Command them, command them. Commandez de sortir. Command them. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say you devil. Toi démon. Anything. Toute chose. You have planted. Tu as planté. In my body. Dans mon corps. Causing sickness. Causing failure. Qui donne la chèque. Rising and falling. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say I flash you. Say that poison. That evil food. C'est mauvais. You have planted. Tu as planté. In my stomach. Dans mon ventre. Causing sickness. Causing pain. Qui donne la douleur. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say I flash you. Je te commande. Say I flash you. Je te commande. 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 Maintenant. 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 Say you poison. Toi poison. Say you evil power. Toi esprit mauvais. What are you doing? In my stomach. Dans mon ventre. In my mind. 
dans mon in my heart dans mon cœur in my west dans mon say what are you doing say in the name of jesus dans le nom de jésus say i push you je te pousse say i push you je te pousse i flash you oui yes oui Say you witchcraft power. Say you witchcraft power. Tu as la puissance In my father's house. I am here. Je suis ici. To command you. De te commander. To come out. De sortir. I am here. Je suis ici. To command you. De te commander. To come out. De sortir. You have the power. Tu as esprit mauvais. In my father's witchcraft. Tu as esprit mauvais. In my father's house. I command you. Je te commande. Come out. So. 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 Today that power must leave you. Cette that power that causes you backward, forward. Cette that causes you not to dire. go forward. It is power of witchcraft. Command it in the name of Jesus. Command it in the name of Jesus. Command you are empowered. We are empowered by the blood of Jesus. You are empowered by the Holy Spirit. It is time. It is time. C'est le temps. It is time. C'est le temps. It is time. C'est le temps. They come out. Des sorties. It is time. C'est le temps. They get flushed out. Des sorties. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Let them come out. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Say you witchcraft. Toi, son I know you are the source. Tu es la source. Of my stagnation. You witchcraft. Toi, son you are the source. Tu es la source. Of my limitation. De ma limitation. You witchcraft. You are the source of my stagnation. I know the power of God is in me to command you to come out. To command you to come out right now, wherever you are, on that altar, on that altar, catch fire. Holy God, Holy God, Holy God, Holy God, the shrine, the shrine. The shrine, l'idol. The shrine, l'idol. The shrine, l'idol. The shrine, l'idol. That charm, that charm, that fetish, that charm, fetish, that charm, that fetish, that charm, fetish. In your body, dans ton corps. That charm, that charm, dans ton corps. In your body, dans ton corps. That charm, that charm, dans ton corps. That charm, in your body, dans ton corps. That charm, that charm, that fetish, that charm, in your body, dans ton corps. Holy God, Holy God. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the source, the source, the source, la 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 source of their power, the source of their power. La source de ta puissance. Continue à prier, continue à prier dans le nom de Jésus. In the name of Jesus. Command them, command them. Command them to sort it. Command them. Command them to sort it. Command them. Command them to sort it. Command them. Command them. Command them to sort it. Say Lord Jesus. Señor Jesus. Say Lord Jesus. Señor Jesus. Yes. Oui. We thank God. Nous remercions le Seigneur. Who is using our Father in the Lord, Pastor Felix Mulenga? Celui qui utilise notre Papa. To open our eyes. De ouvrir nos yeux. To see. Pour voir. The new Christianity. La réalité de la Christian. Our Father in the Lord. Notre Père. Is trying to remove us from the life of pretense. Il essaie de. You call yourself a child of God without without power. You call yourself a Christian without power. Tu t'appelles toi-même un chrétien sans la puissance. This is the time now to call power. Say Lord Jesus. Seigneur Jésus. I am here. Je suis ici. Let your power. Que ta puissance. Power to deliver. La puissance de la délivrance. Power to solve my problem. La puissance de la solution. Say come down. Descends maintenant. Say come down. Descends maintenant. Say come down. Descends maintenant. Say let them know. Qu'ils connaissent. Those who are mocking me. Ceux qui se moquent de moi. Those who are doubting me. Ceux qui me doutent. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say those who rise against me. Ceux qui se lèvent contre moi. Say let power. 
que la puissance from the throne of mercy say come down descend maintenant say now maintenant 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 déclarer la puissance power déclarer la puissance power in your marriage power dans ton mariage la puissance ça faire la puissance power la puissance power la puissance power in your life la puissance dans ta vie in your blood dans la puissance dans ton sang la puissance dans ton commerce la puissance dans ta famille la puissance dans ta famille power in your life power in your marriage la puissance dans ton mariage power la puissance power in your blood la puissance dans ton sang power in your mind la puissance power in your stomach power all over power la puissance Power. La puissance. Your man the power. Ton argent, la puissance. Your husband power. Ton mari, la puissance. Yes. Oui. Yes. Oui. Yes. Oui. Yes. Oui. Go power. Appelez la puissance. Power. La puissance. Power. La puissance. Power. La puissance. Power to approach sickness. Power to approach poverty. La puissance. Yes. Oui. Receive power. Recevez la puissance. Receive power. Recevez la puissance. When you receive power. Recevez la puissance. Your life will never be the same. Yes. Oui. Receive power. Recevez la puissance. 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 Yes. Oui. Let the same power. Yes. That lets Lazarus La même puissance from the dead. That power Cette that lets Jesus from the dead. Say Lord Jesus. Seigneur Jésus. Let that power que cette puissance that lets you from the dead. That power que cette puissance that lets Lazarus from the dead. Let it arise in me. Let that power que cette puissance be made manifest in me. Puisse se manifester en moi. The power of God. La take over power of god la puissance take de over agis maintenant take over agis maintenant take over agis my health dans in mon my health dans ma santé take over agis in my destiny dans mon destin take over agis in my life dans ma take vie over agis power of god la puissance take de dieu take over take over agis take over agis take over agis in my family dans ma famille take over agis in my destiny dans mon destin take over agis in my career dans mon carrière take over agis in my marriage dans mon mariage take over agis pre 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 continue à prier que la puissance de Dieu agit continue à prier let that power que cette puissance that raised Lazarus qui a ressuscité from the dead that caused Jesus qui a ressuscité to arise on the third day to arise in you and be made manifest on your career on your destiny on your life in the name of Jesus any shrine that is speaking any shrine that is speaking against you it is time for that power to speak for time for that power that raised Lazarus qui a reçu la dead to speak for you commence à parler prayer, pour toi prayer, prayer. continue à Father, prier continue à prier in the name of Jesus dans le nom de Jésus in the name of Jesus dans le nom de Jésus in the name of Jesus dans le nom de Jésus in the name of Jesus dans le nom de Jésus that power cette puissance that power cette puissance that raised qui a ressuscité Lazarus Lazare from the dead de la mort that power cette puissance that raised Jesus qui a ressuscité from the dead Jésus let it arrest the power of darkness in your family dans ta famille prayer 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 pray. continue à prier que cette puissance Thank agisse dans Jesus. ta famille Thank you Jesus. Merci Jésus. Yes. Thank you Jesus. Déclare la power. Déclare la puissance. Thank you Jesus. Déclare la power. Déclare la puissance. 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 Yes. Oui. Those who are watching us. Ceux qui nous regardent maintenant. Wherever you are watching us. Partout où tu es. Are you in your hospital? Dans l'hôpital. As it is happening here. Ce qui arrive ici. So shall it be wherever you are. Toi, arrivé là où tu es. La puissance de Dieu. 
Power will locate you. La puissance va te localiser. Power will locate you. La puissance va te localiser. Power will locate you. La puissance va te localiser. Yes. Oui. Those who are in prison. Ceux qui sont dans la prison. Those who are in hospital. Ceux qui sont dans l'hôpital. This is November. Those who are counting your days. Ceux qui comptent tes jours. Those who are opposing you. Ceux qui te tiennent. That you are not going to see 2023. Those who are counting your numbers. Receive power. Recevez la puissance. 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 Those who are watching us. Ceux qui nous regardent. Wherever you are. Partout tu es. Power will reach you. Que la puissance t'atteint. Wherever you are. Partout tu es. Power will touch you. La puissance va te toucher. Are you in the hospital? Dans l'hôpital. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. I know. Je sais. And I believe. Je crois. In the God of my Father. Pastor Felix Mlenga. Mon père Fatou. I believe in him. Je crois en lui. He can reach and reach up places. He Il can touch and touch touchable places. Whenever you are watching us, power will touch you. La puissance va te power toucher. Power will locate you. La puissance va te localiser. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Those who are counting your numbers. Ceux qui comptent tes jours. Those who are counting your days. Ceux qui comptent tes jours. That you are not going to reach twenty three. Que tu ne peux pas arriver dans l'année prochaine. Name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Power will speak for you. La puissance va parler de toi. Power speakless. Power will speak for you. La puissance va parler de toi. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Wherever you are watching us. Partout tu es. Receive power. Recevez la puissance. Receive power. Recevez la puissance. Power to heal you. La puissance pour te guérir. Power to deliver you. La puissance pour te guérir. Power to rescue you. La puissance pour te te sauver. Be delivered. Be healed. Sois guéri. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Yes. Oui. Amen. 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 Do you believe that you are blessed? Tu crois que tu es béni? I totally agree with my father, Pastor Felix Mulenga. Christianity without power la is meaningless. Surely, you can't even greet a witch. You call yourself a child of God. Say in the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say I am blessed. Je suis béni. Say I am blessed. Je suis béni. By the power. Par la puissance. Of the Holy Ghost. Du Saint Esprit. Say I am blessed. Je suis béni. Say I am healed. Je suis guéri. I am delivered. Je suis délivré. Say I am delivered. Je suis délivré. Say my business. Mon commerce. My money. Mon argent. You are released. Tu es libéré. Say you are released. Tu es libéré. Say you are released. Tu es libéré. Say you are released. Tu es libéré. Can I see your joy? Que je voie votre joie. Amen. Let it be known to those who are doubting you. Not this time allowed. Because you are a Christian by power. Because you are a child of God by power. You enter 2023 by power. Yes. Those who are mocking you. Those who are doubting you. Not this time allowed. Yes. Oui. Amen. Amen. I soak you with the blood of Jesus. And I cover you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. God bless you.